hello guys in this video i am going to show you how you can locally install this beautiful model called as playground version 2.5 on your local system this model has been just released by playground.ai and i did a video around it just a couple of days ago so if you are interested to see its hosted demo then you can watch my video from just yesterday i guess and in that video i tell you how you can generate multiple images from text prompt and lot of other things behind this model and lot of other technical details behind the technology of this model but for this video i am focusing on getting this model installed from hugging face to your local system so if you are not aware of this model this is one of the best model i have seen in terms of diffusion based text text to image generative models this is successor to playground version 2 playground version 2.5 is the state of the art open source model in aesthetic quality and the user studies demonstrated that their model outperformed stxl playground version 2 pixart a delhi 3 and mid journey 5.2 and this is not small thing as i said this has been developed by playground and this is a diffusion based model the license is community license which is pretty broad and this model generates images based on text prompts it's a latent diffusion model that uses two fixed pre-trained text encoders one is open clip with g and the other one is clip with l it follows the same architecture as table diffusion excel okay now enough theory let's go to my trusted ubuntu server and i will show you how you can get it locally installed here you can see that I am using Ubuntu 22.04 and in this Ubuntu server I have um, one GPU of 16 GB of VRAM and I have 32 GB of RAM so hopefully should be enough let me clear my screen the first thing we need to do is to install few of the dependencies so let me do it the first thing I'm installing is this github repo and everything in it so let me press enter and this is going to install a lot of things so let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long hopefully let it install and then we will install three more things so that is done let me clear my screen and now i'm installing in transformers accelerate and save tensors i have most of it already installed so it should be quick that is nice let me clear my screen hopefully you can see it clearly Okay, now let me fire up my Python interpreter. I already have Python installed. Cool, 3.10. And now let me import the things which we have installed. So I'm importing this diffusion pipeline. Let's wait for it to get imported. Okay, so it says that it was built for 3.10.13. So it seems my Python version is not good enough so let me upgrade my python version i think that should be because this won't work with this python version so let me upgrade my python version quickly i have upgraded my python version and it was pain in the back by the way i have done another video on that upgrade process because it took 30 minutes i had had to delete and install a lot of things but anyway that's another story for another time but you can see that once the python is upgraded to 3.12 which is sort of the latest version it is performing without any error so let's carry on so next after importing the diffuser i have imported the torch which is good and now let's put the model in the pipeline i'm specifying cuda because i already have the gpus and you can see that the model is being downloaded so it is there are three uh, tensors so uh, almost around i would say 15 gigs and then this is 16 17 gig should be available so let's wait for it to finish okay then depends upon your download speed so almost done there there are a few warnings but let's ignore them that is done let's specify our prompt here so i'll just press one enter so here the prompt is simply that astronaut in a jungle and then uh, gold color palette muted color detail and it could be of course whatever you like 
and then uh, press enter here and now send it to the pipe to do the inference and that is all there is to it and once I run it you can see that it is doing the inference let's wait for it to finish and then I will show you the output if it shows me here yeah, because it's an Ubuntu system without uh, any GUI so I'm not sure if I would be able to show you okay so it has done the image here I'm not sure if how to save it because it is not saving in the local system okay so I'm using pillow to save the image locally now let me show it in my browser there you go you can see the quality of the image just one GPU and the model has generated it locally how beautiful is that so you can install as many images as you want if you have the GPUs uh, like I have of 16 GB of VRAM but and it's not much really in uh, when you consider the quality of this image and you can generate as many as you like and the speed is also quite good so um, other than that you can do a lot of other things with this awesome model um, I have just shown you how to create the images from text you can even put in negative prompting you can even put some of the other filters and stuff I haven't seen the code for it but I'm more than sure that if you check out that library on the hugging face then you might be able to also do that I will drop the link to it in video description too so that you can also play around with those settings now if I scroll through this playground.ai look at the innovation and creativity of the people that how much awesome stuff people have generated and look at the vibrancy and the clarity of these images and attention to detail I mean everything looks so good so clear so vivid that I mean sometimes it looks that it is these are the real photos and you, it all depends upon your creativity and whatever you do with it also there are a bit of guardrails available so but I'm not sure if those guardrails are available on the local system so uh, tread carefully so if you're doing it locally I mean you could really take it to another level I believe so I'm just scrolling through showing you all the creativity of these people which is simply astounding I mean just looking at it look at this one how amazing this it and if you hover over it it, it is saying that half body of a cute witch <laughs> okay that is cool and look at this a view behind the window to the central park and and you can see the smoke and in this one how cool is that and the list goes on and on and on that's it I think I could just keep playing with it whole day that's it guys I hope that you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you face any issues while installing please share it in the comments and I'll be happy to help if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as that helps a lot Thanks for watching.